and welcome back. Well, if you're in the market for any of the three bags that you saw in the thumbnail, the YSL Toy Lulu, the Chanel Mini Square, or the beautiful Celine box bag, or you just wanna have a bit of crack, stick around. Well, hi everybody and welcome back. It's brilliant to have you all back and it is a stunningly bright and beautiful day here in Dublin. So I am in flying form and ready to do an absolute beauty of a video because I'm gonna give you the whole lowdown, the whole shebang on the YSL Toy Lulu, the Chanel Mini Square and the uh, Celine box bag. A comparison uh, overview on all three of these bags. I'm gonna do an in-depth comparison and then I will do these. They have to fit into the certain categories and I have very, very high standards for these bags. So I am gonna compare them on price, versatility, capacity, and durability. We are also gonna measure strap lengths to see are they shoulder bags, are they cross body bags? and I'm gonna do the bag measurements themselves. And to round it all off, I'm gonna give you the pros and cons of the bags and which I would recommend to see if you would like one of these bags. See which one I would recommend, see which one I would buy if I was to buy again, and which one I think you would get the most value out of. So without further ado, we are gonna start off with a whole overview. And before that, by the way, I want to give a shout out to Patrice Brown. Hi Patrice, how are you, honey? Patrice is an unbelievable supporter and she deserves a shout out. She's always commenting and she's just a really, really nice girl. If you want a shout out next week, leave a comment. Be a supporter, subscribe, stick around and hit that notifications bell and you'd be in my chance to have a shout out. Also, fragrance of the day is BDK Parfum Gris Charnel. This is in the little dispenser here. It is top notes of cardamom, fig and black tea and the mid notes are iris and vetiver and then on the dry down you have sandalwood and tonka bean and it is an amber spice bomb <laughs> a stunner and the reason i have it in this size today and the reason i went for this perfume today and i am going to do a, a whole perfume collection video because i've been asked by a few people so i am getting to that i have all my notes and all my request videos written down so don't worry i am coming to your video but i, I use this today because i was trying to be clever and the bags as you will have seen are all pretty mini small bags so if i was to carry this around this is a perfume that would fit in each of these bags and we are going to do a what fits as well so stick around for that now overview of each of these beauties well first up we have our beauty of ysl toy lulu that i know that you guys adore you just love this bag and you know what i do not blame you i adore this bag as well so i have her here and the overview of this bag is mine is in the black on black leather which is a little stunner now people have been asking me actually about the hardware here and as you can see there isn't a scratch or a mark or a chip or a dent or anything on this hardware so if that answers your question i hope so because i know it's a concern of some people's and so many of you have bought this bag and i don't blame you actually why i sell should be paying me some commission at this stage but they're not but anyway it doesn't matter i'm here to help you guys and that is the front view she is a flat bag obviously with a snap closure in the matte lace, she's a beautiful supple calf skin with this front flap. She has a removable and an adjustable strap. She has gross grain lining on the inside, which you are not gonna see because I have this one filled up at the moment. And the reason I have her full to the brim is because I'm gonna transfer all of these contents into the Chanel mini square and into my beautiful Celine box bag and see if they fit from this bag into those bags. The exact same contents have to fit. That's the game here, and then the rules. <laughs> so that's on the inside, but she does have a middle pocket, a center middle pocket here. It's a flat central middle pocket. I know on the new ones, apparently, you can just see it there. I actually don't have anything in it today, but I've heard from people, some of my subscribers saying that they don't have this pocket. To be honest, you don't really need it. I mean, you can stick a few receipts in there. That's really all I actually use her for. And on the very back there, she does have a couple of card slots and a zipper back pocket. So that is the overview. And on the back, she has the Matalise pattern again, and she's just the most beautiful, beautiful soft leather. The most, or just a very beautiful 
practical bag. I love her, you know that already. So that's the overview of herself. Moving on then to the Chanel Mini Square. As you know, I revealed this recently on my channel. So I haven't obviously had a chance to use this one as much as I would have used my YSL Toy Lulu, but I have worn her on a couple of occasions and she's been fabulous. So the overview of this bag is, as you all know, she's in that beautiful classic quilting with a double CC turn lock, which is just a classic from Chanel. And then she has the classic chain strap here, the leather and the chain, which is another standard and classic feature of this beauty. And um, unfortunately, this strap is not removable or adjustable. I wouldn't say unfortunately, it's just not. So that is the overview of this bag. That's the underneath. And then at the back, she has the Mona Lisa smile little leather pocket there also. That is herself, and last but not least is my small Celine box bag. Comes in three different sizes, the small, which is this size, then it is in the teen size, and then after that is in the size medium, so it's called. So I'm gonna do measurements on, in a while of all three, so hang around for that. So the overview of this bag basically is she is in this beautiful box leather. It's like a calfskin box leather, and then on the, she's this metallic, closure which I just absolutely love and just a very understated and beautiful bag and then on the inside you will see she has this accordion style opening and three compartments on the inside she has the back zippered pocket in the inside actually the lining is lambskin so she's just a very understated very beautiful and no logos or anything that's the overview of all three now price Let's start with the best value at the moment, and that would be the YSL, which is $1,200, and so in Euro, she would be 995 Euro. Moving on to Missy Moo Chanel Mini Square, the price of this bag is $3,800, so in Euros will be on screen as well. And last but not least, the Celine box bag is now $3,000, $100, which is 2,550 euro. That is the price of all three. So obviously the Chanel is the most expensive and the YSL is the better value in the price comparison department. Versatility wise, sticking with the YSL, this bag is so, so versatile. You can throw her on with a pair of jeans. You can take the strap off of I, as I have here, just for demonstration purposes and aesthetics as they say. But some people may use this as a little clutch in the evening time, so it is quite versatile. I personally wouldn't use it as a clutch. I just think, you know, for me it's, it's too bulky as an evening bag, but it could be used as an evening bag. But versatility as far as if you're going for lunches or dinners or anything like that, this is a no-brainer of a bag. She is just really, really beautiful and I would definitely give her a four out of five for versatility. Taking the one point away because of, well, basically we I can't wear her to a wedding. Well, I wouldn't wear her to a wedding. So that is Missy Moo on versatility. Then we will go with the Chanel and versatility wise, I would give this bag a five out of five. I would because I could bring this bag to a wedding. I could bring her for lunch. I could bring her for dinner into town, meet the girls, throw over my shoulder, use her really, really casually, even if I'm just popping out to the shops. Um, as you know, I got this one a little older and she is in the lambskin because I didn't want to have to baby the bag and that is exactly why I bought her a few years old and also I wanted the dark gold hardware rather than the light gold hardware. I just really, really like it on this bag. So versatility wise, I would definitely give this Chanel Mini Square a five out of five. Now, moving on to the little Celine box bag. And versatility wise, I just, this bag is lovely. It is versatile. I would give it a four out of five because well, I, again, I would I would use her during the day. I wouldn't necessarily use her as an evening bag, even though, again, as a clutch, Manny would. You really could use her as an evening bag because of the size of this bag. But also, she's quite delicate. The leather is quite delicate, so I have to be careful where and when I would use this bag. And uh, for that reason, versatility-wise, I'm giving her a four out of five. Now, let's move on to the fun bit, the capacity. What fits inside, Viv? That's what we wanna know. Well, you've all seen what fits inside this beauty. So I have them all here, and I'm gonna transfer these contents into my Chanel Mini Square, and from the Chanel Mini Square into my Celine box bag to see 
will exactly the same pieces fit. Now, first of all, what have I got? We we'll start with the smaller ones. I have a little lip gloss. I have a little uh, hand cream and of course my perfume, which I was showing you. I have my Bastia coin purse. Then I have my six ring key holder. Then down here, I have a pair of sunglasses. And in the back compartment here, of course, I have my phone, which is the iPhone uh, 12 Pro. And then I have my cards, my YSL card holder and coin purse in there. And that's all I have. I don't have anything in the middle, as I was telling you earlier. So this beauty, you know, I could put a few more cards in or things like that, but I just wanted to put that many in to see would they fit in the other pieces inside of this beauty, which is just one big open square with a flap pocket at the back and one zippered compartment here, which is a beautiful detail with a Chanel written on it. Just buttery smooth and very, very soft. Now, let me start with my phone because that would be the first thing that would I would want to come with me. And we maybe we might have to sacrifice a few bits, I'm not sure. That's my phone inside there. Then I will put in my YSL card holder in on top. And then I will go with my six ring key holder. And I will put in my Bastia coin. So that was those three pieces. Then I had my lip gloss in, which I'm going to put in the corner here, like so. My hand cream, which I wouldn't always bring, but I'm just, just for demonstrative, you know, demonstrating purposes. I'm gonna put in, put this in my little Zumoni. Um, it came with my organizer because the sh corners of the L'Occitane hand cream are quite sharp. So I'm gonna put that inside because the inside of the bag is lambskin, as you know. And so that's gonna go in like so. And then my perfume, I'm going to put in the side as well because there's actually an extra little bit of room here at the side. So we'll see, although that looks a bit, I might have to put it lengthways across the top. We'll do that. And last but not least, are these gonna fit is the question. Now, I'm gonna put them in on top and I think guys, this is gonna work. Look at that. Now, just from the side, I'll just close her down and see. Now, to be honest, no, I'm not going to get away with the glasses. I could maybe squeeze it down, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to take those out and close her down and the glasses are going to go on my head. And that's what we're going to do. So as you can see, the only thing that didn't work there, everything else did. The only thing that didn't work the sunglasses. So I think we've done really well. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces inside here. And I think that is just brilliant for the size of this bag. Again, just close her down and it's not a bother to close. So capacity wise, this bag is really, really good. Well, obviously capacity wise, I'd give the YSL a five out of five. So we'll give this one a four out of five just cause it couldn't fit the sunglasses. Let's do that. I think that's fair even though I'm very, very happy with how much this bag actually holds. A lot of people again have said, you know, they would, they would love to buy this bag and what did I think and all the rest of it. Um, I have said that maybe I should have gone for the teen size, which is the size up. Now I do love this bag. I haven't used it as much as I would have liked to use it. But the only reason I said that, to be honest, is because of my phone. Now, I'm just gonna show you, and I know I've showed you before, this, my phone does fit, but as you can see, the accordion style here and the these edges come out a little at the side, so it makes it, see the way it's longer in the middle. See these, these actually stretch out here, okay? So I'm going to put my phone in and just show you that it fits, but I kind of have to go diagonally, you know? So, I mean, that's not really what you want or else I could just take the case off, which you don't really want to be doing. Now, it doesn't bother me that much because I hold my phone in my hand a lot, but anyway, I'm gonna put it in without the case and like it fits straight across that way. All right. And then we will go with the card holder and we we'll put her in the back there. Or no, I'll put her in actually in the middle compartment with my phone. Then I'm going to go with my six ring key holder like so. Then we will go with the Bastia coin purse and inside this, somebody asked me to do a review on this actually. I must do that. I obviously have my coins 
but I also have my little earbuds there also. So that's very, very handy. And the reason I like this, obviously you could use, I just brought, brought this to show you, you could use your little Louis Vuitton coin purse, which I love as well. But sometimes I just use the square one, depending on the shape of the bag. So whether I need a rectangular or a square, it just depends. So today I'm just gonna use this and pop her there in the front. And I just love the pop of color of the Bastia coin purse. So that's that. And then we will go to my little sharp objects, which will go inside Miss Zumoni here, just like that. I'm just gonna try, this is my first time doing this actually. Then I'll go with my perfume. And we will put, lay that flat because it's quite tall. And that was actually one of the points I wanted to make with the Chanel mini square because it's a little bit taller. Uh, than even the rectangle, it can fit around the same size because it is that bit taller so you can get away with things. So now we're gonna put in the lip gloss in the side and that's how that's looking. And last but not least, will I get away with the glasses is the question. So I'll put them in here and tell them I don't think so and that's an absolute no for the glasses. So the glasses only fit and even look at this, look. Having problems ladies and gents. So it fits, no problem, as you can see, but width-wise, we are have is, is, the issue is coming in. So what will I remove? I think I'll just take out the little hand cream there because in the, that's actually making a bit of a, yes, just the hand cream really. And I can definitely close that, no problem. Now it is definitely to capacity on that you note, know, it really is. And you can see my phone, see it here, and that's what I don't really like. It fits, but it kind of pushes the leather out, but maybe that won't annoy some people and you know, you'd be fine with that, but just something to keep in mind. So that did not fit my glasses or my hand cream, but I have all my other bits in here. So I think it's fair to say for that reason, I will give this capacity wise three out of five because I had to take out two items. It's funny, you would think with all the compartments it would fit more, but obviously the compartments take up a little bit of room and therefore um, these two on the outside, by the way, as well, are slightly shorter, if you can see that, than the inside one. So that is definitely something to keep in mind. And you could probably put a slip, some, uh, something in the slip pocket back here, like receipts or something like that. So that is the capacity of the Celine small box bag. Now, durability, let's stick on the Celine and go back the other way. Well, durability, let's talk about that. I wouldn't want to wear this in the rain. She's the most beautiful, luxurious leather. Really, really beautiful. Probably a little bit more durable than people think, but definitely could get an odd nail mark. I wouldn't want to be scratching this bag or anything like that, because for sure it would show up on this beautiful, shiny, smooth leather here. So durability wise, to be honest, I'd, I'd probably give this bag a two out of five because she's very delicate. You know, I just wouldn't be banging her around. I do take care of her and I haven't worn her that much. Look, she's stunningly elegant, she really is. You can't take it from her. Understated beauty and elegance really is. You know, even I find sometimes makeup, makeup stains, I have to clean the bag off a lot. So she's not the most durable. She's a little bit precious. You have to baby her a little bit, but she's beautiful and she's worth it. Moving on from there, durability wise, how are we working out with the Chanel mini square? Well, this one is in lambskin. So as you know, it's gonna be a little bit more delicate in the lambskin. And I would say, because this one is a little bit older that I'm not too worried about, bringing her around, which I, I just really want to enjoy the bag for it's just its beauty and all the rest of it. And I think I would definitely give this bag, I'd give her a three out of five, because let's be honest, lambskin is a bit delicate, but I don't think she's as delicate as Celine because of the, the quilting and just the configuration of the bag. I think, you know, it's a little bit more forgiving. Um, again, I wouldn't bring her out in wet weather and things like that. And that is just something to note. Now the winner, as I'm sure you all would have known for durability, is this beauty, because you could literally throw this bag against a wall. Not that I ever would advise anybody to do that. <laughs> but she just is, she's just so, so durable. And as I have just answered the question about the hardware here, 
I mean, there just is no problem at all. No chipping, no marks, no nothing. And she's the most durable beauty. I take her everywhere. I, she's a grab and go for everything. And I would recommend her to everyone. Can't speak of her highly enough durability wise and capacity wise. Now we will do their measurements and we will start with the YSL. So YSL measurements is 7.8 inches across, 5.5 in height and depth is three inches across here. So this one is the largest bag of the three for sure. And coming in in second place size wise is the Chanel Mini Square. And she is 6.5 inches across, five inches top to bottom, and then depth she is three inches, making her second place to the YSL Toy Lulu in size. And last but not least, the baby of the pack is the Beauty Celine box bag. And she is six inches across, five inches in height, and three inches in depth. So she is definitely the smallest of the three. She's very cute. But what I find, to be honest, guys, is who of us is carrying that much anymore? To be honest, I very rarely even bring a wallet or even a card holder now. I'm kind of paying everything with my phone. So we have to take that into consideration when we're making our choices as well. And don't forget your lifestyle and don't forget your closet and don't forget your colors when you're making all these choices. And I'm gonna make a video for you on that as well, which I think would be very helpful. Now, second last, we are going to do strap length. And on the YSL, the strap length is 57 centimeters. And I'm just going to put her on here. And actually, I just wanted to tell you, you guys are great for sending me in all the info, actually. One of my subscribers bought this bag recently, and apparently the new strap is not adjustable and is not detachable. Oh no, is, is, is detachable and is not adjustable so I just wanted to let you know that I have the older model it's not old I mean it's last year and it has this wristless part wristlet and basically it is adjustable and detachable but the newer model apparently doesn't have this bit so it's not adjustable just to let you guys know and you can basically wear it on the shoulder cross body as I do perfect for cross body I have it at the full length there and she really is a brilliant length of a bag like that is just my hip and my bum there. So for me, it's perfect crossbody. Of course, she can be worn shoulder length as well. And then the Chanel is 20 inches, meaning it is 50 centimeters in length, obviously shorter than the YSL. Now on me, this comes up a little bit short crossbody, if you can just see there. She's just quite short, but you know, some people like that look and you could po po very possibly get away with it. I would probably end up wearing this bag on my shoulder. It is perfect. Now, obviously the strap on the Chanel Mini Square is not adjustable or detachable, but I mean, that's just a feature of this little beauty. I, you wouldn't really want her to be that anyway, would you? This bag is strap length 41 centimeters long, meaning it is 16 inches. So there you go, lengthwise, if you can just see gives you a good idea of the length of that bag. So there is no way I would be wearing this crossbody. I mean, it would be just ridiculous on me crossbody. So it is a definite shoulder carry for me at 41 centimeters. And again, this strap is removable and adjustable. So just to let you know. And that is the length of the three beauties, if you're interested. And again, this is the size small and the strap length on the teen size or the medium size maybe longer i'm not sure i'd have to look that up before i leave you don't go yet because i'll give you pros and cons of which one i would recommend so the pros and cons ysl well where do we start and where do we finish pros and cons pros for sure durability versatility capacity and price this bag is so easy to use so easy to wear i mean i could keep talking forever on this bag you know she is definitely value for money and the cons Hmm, the only one that I could actually pick out would be, I wouldn't use her as an evening bag. Um, she's quite a casual bag. If you want an evening bag, I wouldn't really go for this. But then again, as I said, it's up to you. Some people, they just might. Now, the Chanel Mini Square pros and cons. Well, she is definitely versatile. And she is a beauty. She's very easy to use. She's a classic bag. Uh, but cons are the price and the durability. You just can't say that this bag is durable or value for money. You just can't, even though she's a stunner. What I will say is the classic bag in the Chanel obviously keeps her price. They keep going up in value, so therefore 
that is something to take into consideration. So definitely, you know, cost per wear could really bring that price down for you on the Chanel Mini Square. And last but not least, the Celine box bag. And pros of this bag are versatility. And again, it holds its price quite well. I would really recommend you looking on the secondhand market, pre-love market for this bag, because they have some beauties in excellent condition. You can get a brand new bag uh, for maybe $500 less. So, I mean, that's a really good saving. So have a look on the pre-love market for this beauty. I wouldn't recommend buying her new because they definitely don't hold value just like the Chanel mini squares do. So look on the pre-love market for an excellent condition, new, without tags, all that kind of stuff, and fashion file and vestier. I mean, the price of this bag is expensive. She is expensive. She's not very durable. And also I wanted to mention the metal strap this little detail here they can be quite kind of uncomfortable sometimes they can stick into your shoulder when you're wearing them so that is just something see the way it's see the way the shape of it there it's quite squared off and sharp at the edges so another thing as a con and just something to keep in mind when you're buying this bag but it's very light i mean it's not going to dig into your shoulder if it was a heavy bag it might pull it down weight wise but it's not that bad, but something to mention on your bare shoulder, something to keep in mind. Another pro of this bag is it's just so luxurious and understated. It has no logos on it. If that's what you're into, it doesn't scream. I'm a big luxury designer handbag, so it is something to consider. So that is the roundup and comparison of these three beauties. And I would love to know down below what you think about those three. What are your thoughts? Which one would you go for? Which one do you have? what you think overall value-wise, versatility, capacity, which of those characteristics is most important to you when you're buying a handbag? It has, does it have to be versatile? Does it have to have you know, certain components? Does it have the capacity have to be massive? The durability, I just wanna know what is the most important component to you when you're buying a bag? And now, which bag would I recommend? Well, I would recommend YSL Toy Lulu. And you're probably not surprised. Why would I recommend this? Because of the value for money and the value overall that this bag gives you is second to none. I mean, price of the bag, durability, versatility, capacity. It's, it's just a winner hands down. I mean, I absolutely adore it and I'm not gonna part with my Chanel Mini Square and I've just got it, but I have to be very honest. This is the best value and this is the bag that I would recommend. So I hope you've all enjoyed that now. And if you have any comments and any questions, put them down below. Any requests, send them on in and I'll make that video for you. And in the meantime, keep commenting and keep sharing. And most of all, be safe. Be kind, be safe, be compassionate. Love you lots. See you next time. Mwah.